Okay. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm gonna. I have pet bass around my dock, and I mean wild pet bass. And I'm gonna give a little demonstration of uh, uh, how I catch fish. I can catch the bass, and I can release them. How I'm gonna feed uh, live brim to them, which uh, they'll come up and take. And I'll give a demonstration how I, I do actually catch and release them. I catch the brim actually using a little very small hook on a little ultralight. And for fun, I catch the large bass. There's large bass on there. There's about uh, probably six or eight, maybe even ten bass, different sizes, up to about six pounds. And I'm going to give a demonstration on how to catch one on the ultralight since they're very easy to catch uh, being pet bass. Of course, in order to have pet bass around your dock, you've got to have plenty of cover for the brim, which means you should have plenty of brush. This gives cover for the brim, and of course you need to feed the brim on a regular basis. As you can see, uh, coming up here's a bass thinking it's a brim piece of bread. All right, what we have is a live brim, no hook, on some fishing line. And we're gonna try to feed the pet bass. See if we can get one to come up and take it. All right, let's see if I can get my pet fish to come up here. Where's the man? Oh. Ready, set. There, there. There's one there, a big one. Ooh, the bass got, come up. Watch it, look at that. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. tired of feeding them and I want to catch one of my pet bass and release him of course. I put a brim on a small hook, a live brim. Okay, I gotta make sure. Here we go. Oh, he got it just like that. That's him. You can back up. Pet bass, pet bass. Get him. And I finally Finally, uh, it's, the hook just come out on its own. It was barely even sticking. Caught it on four pound test line. That bass probably weighs uh, five, maybe six pounds. Largemouth bass. I'm gonna release him now. 13 times I've caught that bass. 